This video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. The Balkans are a place most people know as the powder keg of Europe. A place where conflict never seems to be far off from the horizon. But could stability finally be coming to the peninsula after centuries of bloodshed? Probably not. <laughs> As of June 29, 2021, the leaders of the most based Balkan countries, Serbia, Albania and North Macedonia, have launched an initiative known as the Open Balkan, which is an economic and political zone of three member states. The zone has a total area of 131,935 kilometers squared, an estimated total population of almost... Wait, something's not right here. Ah, much better. The total population of the participating countries is estimated to be at around 12 million, which sounds all fine and dandy, but what is this initiative actually? Essentially the Open Balkan project is the same thing as the EU and Schengen area, except located entirely in the Balkans. It would allow citizens of member countries to move and work freely in other member nations. <laughs> even though most are trying to escape them, but whatever. It would also allow the free movement of goods, services, and lots and lots of weed. Albania is a member of the founding countries in the end. Anyways, the idea for the Open Balkans started way back in the 90s, when Cartoon Network was still good and the military-industrial complex was just starting to have its fun in the Middle East. It was supposed to be on par with the newly formed European Union project, which was just starting off. However, due to the Yugoslavs deciding that killing each other and making fire songs about it was more interesting, the project fell apart. In 2018, the project was revived by the big man Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama, and in 2019, the leaders of Serbia, North Macedonia and Albania met up several times in their respective countries and started laying down the plans for the initiative. Finally, Open Balkan was launched in the summer of 2021, after the three countries signed a trilateral agreement that by 2023, their borders would be open for each other's citizens and goods without any restrictions. But why did this happen and why now? Well, the answer for that is quite simple, my dear friends, and that's because of EU negligence. Before I go into that, I want to give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is a VPN that allows you to surf the web safely and keep your data secure, while also allowing you to bypass geo-restricted websites such as Netflix and many others. And currently Atlas VPN is running a huge discount on their 3 year deal for just $1.39 a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. But this deal won't last for long, so make sure to check Atlas VPN out by clicking the link in the description or just go to atlasv.pn slash Europe to claim your special deal. For years, the EU has neglected the Western Balkans in their integration within the EU. Serbia started EU accession negotiations in 2012 and has seen slow progress throughout the decade. Meanwhile, North Macedonia and Albania are still just candidate countries and have not started negotiations at all, as Macedonia was blocked from starting the process due to the whole Greek naming cope and afterwards the country changed its name, it started to be blocked by Bulgaria due to their own cope. This has also screwed over Albania, whose accession to the EU is tied to North Macedonia. So after years of being screwed over by white people with a superiority complex, the three Balkan countries decided to form their own EU, but with blackjack and hookers. And for every Joe Balkanoids like you and me, this sounds great, considering we are stuck living here and some peace would definitely be great. However, the project has not gone by without some criticism. Within the creation of the Open Balkan Initiative, the three founding members sent out invitations to other Balkan countries and Kosovo to join them and make the Balkans great again. Bosnia and Montenegro are quite skeptical of the initiative as they both believe that the current Central European Trade Agreement covers most of the issues and that the initiative is more or less redundant. However, Montenegro has agreed to participate in future Open Balkan talks and even host summits. Meanwhile, Bosnia more or less rejected the project completely and decided to stick only with EU integrations as they think that joining the Open Balkan initiative would endanger the country's independence. But I guess taking orders from Brussels wouldn't. When it comes to Satan's birthplace, Kosovo, the Schrodinger's country has been fully against the initiative as a whole due to undergoing a teenage rebellious phase directed at Serbia. Look at him, Mr. 70s over here. <laughs> What is this? 
What is this? You got a little uh, toy box with you here or something? The Prime Minister of Albania, Edi Rama, has even pleaded with the government of Kosovo to stop being mentally challenged and join the initiative, but to no avail. Even Germany and the US have tried to convince Kosovo to join, but this all fell into water. All in all, Open Balkan is just starting and it will take some time before we can truly judge what it is. Will it be a success story and finally bring stability to the region, or will it follow the footsteps of Yugoslavia? Let me know in the comment section down below. And once more, big thanks to my channel members like Julian Apostasies. You've watched Living Ironically in Europe, and I'll see you next time.